In this tutorial we are going to assess the VDA 6.3 process element P4, realization of the product and process development. In P2 and P3 the organization had to implement a robust project management process with the necessary capable resources to plan the implementation of the product and process development in coordination with the customer. In the process element P4 we are going to assess how effective the, the product and process development actions were implemented to ensure that resources will be capable to meet the customer milestones in accordance with process element P3. We are now going to ask the operational manager how the production processes were installed and released according the product and process development plan. Question P4.1 are the actions from the product and process design development plans implemented? The conditions defined in the development planning methods for product and process development were applied, so that after implementation in the serial production, the product fulfill the product conditions of use, function, reliability, safety. In the development phase a process FMEA was used to ensure that the product and the process will comply with the requirements of the customer. Special characteristics are identified and noted in the relevant documents. In the overall plan, a test plan was established for the components, assemblies, sub-assemblies, software and materials including manufacturing processes from prototype to pilot production. The requirements for the test equipment were defined and implemented. The documentation of lessons learned from the prototype phase and the pre-production phase are available for reference in the serial phase. The outsource products and services were taken into account in the realization of the supply chain concept. Question P4.2 are personnel resources available and are they qualified to ensure the start of serial production? A general personnel recruitment, training and development plan is implemented to cover the customer requirements. To ensure that qualified personnel resources are available for the manufacture of prototypes and samples. Employee resources for pre-production production startup and serial production are planned and personnel are qualified in accordance with the project plan. The direct and indirect employees must be qualified for the relevant tasks. This also applies to the staff of external service providers. Appropriate certification must be available. Needs assessments will be carried out regularly during product and process development with regard to possible emerging bottlenecks and additional requirements. Question P4.3 Are the material resources available and suitable to ensure the start of serial production? Within the equipment resource determination, the necessary infrastructure is taken into account. All the necessary equipment for the realization of prototypes and sample are available. Also all the equipment for pre-production and serial production are implemented and released according with the project plan. Regular needs assessment are be carried out during product and process development with regard to possible emerging bottlenecks and additional requirements. The necessary test equipment and laboratory equipment are available and capable. All supporting processes from logistics and IT will be implemented. Question 4.4 Are the required approvals and releases for product and process development available? The releases and verification of suitability is confirmed for all the items, assemblies, software versions, and outsource components and services. In accordance development schedules, the production process and product approval must be available at production release. For products with integrated software an additional software test report is available. Reference parts from sampling must be kept for at least the time laid down in the customer requirements, and the material data is confirmed and released. Question P4.5 are the manufacturing and inspection specifications derived from the product and process development and are they implemented? 
The manufacturing and inspection characteristics contain all characteristics from the product and process development, including special characteristics. These must take into account all the components, assemblies, sub-assemblies, parts, software and materials including manufacturing processes that are part of the product. The specifications include information for product control, production process control, methods and response plans and corrective actions. Product audits and layout inspection and a functional verification plans are defined. The specifications must be available for all phases. Prototype phase, if required by the customer, pre-series and series phase. Question 4.6 is the performance test carried out under a series conditions for series release? A production trial run was carried out in order to assess all production factors and influences at the appropriate time and make any necessary corrections. The production trial run has provided evidence that the quality capability of the entire production process will be achieved under serial production conditions. With the available tools and equipment to meet the calculated cycle time with sufficient qualified personnel according to the manufacturing and inspection specifications and calibrated measuring and testing equipment. The following key focus points must be agreed when planning the production run. The determination of minimum quantities to be produced to achieve the customer schedules. Equipment and infrastructure are available and capable for start of series production. The employees will be available and competent to assemble the required volumes according to calculated efficiencies. The work, test and packing instructions must be available and include safety instructions. The production run will only be approved if the production volumes and quality requirements had been achieved. Question 4.7. Are the processes established for securing customer care, customer satisfaction, customer service as well as the field failure analysis? In question P3.4, the activities for for customer support, customer satisfaction, customer services had to be planned. Now in question P4.7 we need to show evidence that the processes which were planned had been established. The employees designated for these processes are qualified. The infrastructure is available. If external sites are used for analysis, the interfaces are defined and evidence of the presence of the required equipment and capacity is available. The requirements for the analysis capability at the site have been agreed with the customer. The planned processes for the continuous series supply including safety margins for emergencies are available. The analysis process for zero kilometers and field complaints is established for the scope of delivery and the customer requirements are taken into account for failure analysis. Question 4.8 Is there a controlled method for the product handover from development to serial production? We have a process for transferring the work results from the project team to the production team. We have also implemented measures to secure the production startup which are specified in our project closure handover process and must achieve the following conditions. 1. Successful internal PPA process. 2. Series delivery releases the successful customer approval. 3. Proof of capability can be shown for all special characteristics. We also ensure that the material resources include buildings, test facilities, laboratory facilities, equipment, are available and functional. These are available and have been released. The personnel resources are available in accordance with the planning and are qualified to achieve the customer quality and volumes requirements.
The project can now be handed over to the production manager because all the customer and local production targets had been achieved for serial production. Thank you for watching. VDA 6.3 P4 Implementation of the product and process development. In the next videos we will focus on how to audit P6. The production process and analysis. You are welcome to visit our website at www.mpquality.com and subscribe to our channel. Your success is our priority.